Hello traders, Douglas here. Today we're going to go over my live Algobox trading session. Uh, recorded it late in the afternoon today on ES. You'll see we started out, I had a little tiny loser, so we're almost down about $40 uh, by the time I started recording this. But we're going to get right into the trades and why I took them and any mistakes that I made. And of course, out to those of you out there in Algobox land, feel free to correct and advise. So right here we have our first move that's called a double cross double move. So you see those two crosses pop up. That's two volume spikes basically. And uh, what you're looking for is price to move away from the crosses the same amount that it moved into the crosses. So you're looking for a 100% move after the crosses. And we actually did get pretty much to the tick 100% move. I was just late on it. Uh, I didn't even have time to measure it beforehand. I thought that it would come back and tap me out at the very least, but it didn't. Uh, and I was playing really uh, tight today. So I moved my stop up to break even, broke through uh, my stop. So we ended up losing a few more dollars there. And then right here, you see that red dot that popped up and there's a cross that's called a headshot. And you see the way price moved away from that. So that would have been a great one if you could have caught it, but I was too busy trying to measure the move out and show you that yes, it was 100% move right there. So that's a Fibonacci tool is just measuring out the 100% move. Uh, so that's what I was trying to show you there. So let's move on to the second trade. We gotta wait for the setup to happen. You can see that there's nothing going on at the moment. And then boom, okay, so that's another headshot. You've got a blue uh, blue Fibonacci dot in the cross. And uh, blue is the most powerful of the dots. It means the most levels of confluence. And then you get the volume spike along with it. You get um, this red at the bottom here is uh, showing you delta. So you got a little delta dump before it. So there's a lot of things setting up that move right there. And unfortunately, it, uh, it came back on me and I played it too tight. So my stop should have been behind the blue dot. I got in a little late and I didn't want to play it that big. Uh, so I just bailed out early and then as you can see, I moved on and I would have had a nice little winner there. But now we are down 137. So we've had basically three bad trades, but we're only down $137. Moving on to the next setup here. At this point in time, I'm just kind of letting it do its thing. As you can see, there's no confluence setups going on. That green dot happens, but it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So no reason to take that one unless you're really going to be aggressive. And price just kind of floats around here. You want to give it some time and I want to show you guys kind of, you know, sort of what you have to sit through because you have to sit through uh, these sort of signals, if you want to call them that, but these algo box uh, signals that pop up, but there's certain setups, right? So you're not looking for the signals, you're looking for the setups and you're looking for the setups at the right time in the right direction. So that cross pops up there, but it's just a single cross sitting out there. Now you could probably look at that as a headshot. It's a little far off. I looked at it as a headshot and uh, with the way price had kind of been going back and forth, back and forth, it seemed like a good time uh, to go short. Another cross comes in. I decided to take off some risk, move my stop to break even, hoping it's going to keep on moving down. It starts moving up. So I close out now with one good trade. Uh, I'm up 75. So remember, we've had like three losers and then uh, one good trade. I'm in the profit now. That's kind of the key to algo box and why you play it tight. Okay, that's that's your whole goal. It's not to hit everything 100%. It's to manage risk in a way that you haven't managed risk before. So we've got a nice little profit going on, even though we're what one for four. Now that red square right there, that's called a harmonic pattern. So 
that's just showing you there was a harmonic pattern and that your bias should be short for that harmonic pattern. That green square right there is a harmonic pattern long. Uh, you don't want to take those just for no reason, just because they pop up on the screen. You want an actual setup. Algobox has all sorts of videos uh, explaining what uh, are good setups and what to look for. So we get that red dot, and that red dot is just kind of out there in the middle of nowhere, even though it moved down. We don't worry about that because that wasn't a setup in my opinion. There you go. There's another headshot. We've been getting those a lot and they've been working out. So we move there, put the stop behind the green for tight risk. We get two uh, crosses. That could be good or bad. It could boost me up or wreck me. And uh, unfortunately, that one wrecked me. So now we're like one for five, right? We're down 200 now. And all those lines up there where you see price at currently, those are uh, levels of support and resistance based on volume. They draw them for you. So that's pretty convenient. So if you get a bunch stacked up, a lot of times that's where I would like to look to play because um, it can be potential big move. So right now we're just looking for something, looking for something that looks good. Another cool thing about Algobox is if price is moving, uh, you don't have to worry about missing a setup because there's so many. There's so many setups. Like you're not just getting like three a day. If price is moving like this, there are more than you can handle. You're not going to catch them all. You don't want to catch them all and you don't want to trade all day. It'll wear you out. <laughs> so, so just take your time. I mean, if you can concentrate hard for an hour or less, you know, 45 minutes or so at a time, and that's probably all you need on a day where price is moving and that's all it's been doing lately so we got a double cross look for the double move and then down below you'll see that big old spike that's delta spike so that's terrific so this time i actually measured properly took off my risk in the right place Put my stop up, so I'll make at least a little bit of a profit if price comes back on me. And I decided to close out right there. Price got hung up a little bit, so I just closed out. And now uh, we've got $250 in the bank, even though that we're only uh, two for six at this point in time. You'll see that big circle up there up top uh, at the top of the screen. Uh, so that is uh, the same thing as a cross. It's just on a larger time frame. They make them circles. It just separates things out a little bit. So that's what you're that's what you're seeing up there. Is just that's a that's a bigger uh, volume spike. And a lot of times when something big comes up like that, um, you want uh, you get a little excited that a big move could happen, but a lot of times it takes a while to set up. So if you look up top up there after that moon, there was a, I'll call it a moon, there was another moon and then it took a second and then you got a pink dot, which is the most powerful sell dot. And then right after that, you got a red dot. So that would have been a pretty good place to go short and look for a bigger move since it happened on the bigger time frame. I did not take that though. As you can see, my profits are still at 250. You get this uh, blue dot right here. So that's the most powerful buy signal um, as far as confluence goes on those Fibonacci dots, but it happened kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, you might have taken that because uh, I don't want to get too much uh, stuff going on to confuse you, but you'll see these little uh, vertical lines going through there. And there's a pink one right behind that blue dot that's called King Timing. It's a timing feature to tell you when a move might take place. And since that blue dot happened near that King Timing, uh, you 
you probably, uh, depending on how you're feeling, could take that move. I don't uh, particularly feel good about it, so I didn't take it. There you go. So that's a uh, pink dot, so most powerful cell dot. It happened in an HMD or harmonic. Uh, that's HMD is harmonic uh, dot pattern. So the dot happened in the harmonic pattern, um, both telling you to go short. So we went short. And we're just seeing over this is going to work out in our favor or not. Our t stops are tight. Up top there on the bigger time frame, we just got a red dot. So we're still feeling pretty good about this trade. Cross comes in. A lot of times that's a good place to take off profits. So that's what I did. Take off risk. Lock in profits. And then as price starts coming back a little bit here, I uh, decided to close out manually, take my profits and run. And on three of seven trading, uh, we end up with a healthy little bit of profit all because of risk management and remember I'm new at this my risk management is uh, probably pretty poor compared to uh, veterans of Alga Box, uh, and it still worked out nicely so good practice day uh, worked out very nice peace out